There are three things that our gospel today um, show us that the, that, that the shepherds and our blessed mother had in common. First, both Mary and the shepherds were visited by an angel. Second, when they encountered Christ, it caused a radical change in their lives. And third, they all became evangelizers. The fact that the angels appeared to Mary and the shepherds isn't something that we should take lightly. God only speaks to those who are in a conversation with him. Now God is always pursuing us and desiring us. However, God only speaks to those of us who are in a conversation with him. We need to be people of prayer if we expect God to communicate with us. For our Blessed Mother and the shepherds to receive a message from angels meant that they had to be in prayer. We too need to live our lives in prayer and communication with God so that we can hear him speak to us and respond appropriately. We see that very clearly here in our window, this uh, third window up here with the Annunciation. If you look at Mary, she's not looking at the angel, but she's looking down at a book. And uh, I would assume it's the book of the prophet Isaiah where it says you, a woman will conceive and bear a son. Um, we, you can't read the handwriting up there, but <laughs> the window gets it quite right. Mary had to have been in prayer to receive the angel. And this window depicts that beautifully. And the same with the shepherds. I mean, they're just out all night watching sheep. They, I mean, they were just praying out of boredom, probably. But we have to be in prayer. The second connection is that when they all encountered Christ, their lives changed in a radical way. Mary first encountered Christ when she conceived him in her womb through the Holy Spirit. Mary always had a very intimate and certainly life-changing relationship with the Son of God. And when the shepherds made their way to Bethlehem and saw the Christ child, their lives too changed radically. That's what happens when we encounter the truth. That's what happens when we encounter love. Something has to change because we know how imperfect and unworthy we are. The shepherds met the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in a barn. And it only makes sense that their lives changed because of their encounter. Everyone who encounters Jesus in the scriptures has their lives changed radically, from the woman at the well to the man born blind, even to Lazarus, who was raised from the dead. It wouldn't be different with the shepherds. Finally, Mary and the shepherds become evangelizers. The very first thing Mary does after she greets the angel and encounters Jesus in her womb is glorify God. And the second thing she does is bring Jesus to her cousin Elizabeth. And we hear that John the Baptist leaps in Elizabeth's womb as Mary and Jesus approach them. What do the shepherds do after they encounter the Christ child? They glorify God and they go out to share the good news of the Messiah's birth. Mary and the shepherds know that Christ has changed their lives radically and now they want to share it so that others will change as well. We too need to be evangelizers, sharing our faith and spreading the joy 
and love of Jesus. And so, my sisters and brothers, pray every day. That's the best New Year's resolution. Pray every day. It's cheaper than a gym membership, and it'll help you more than eating rice cakes and drinking protein shakes. Pray every day. And as you pray, you will encounter Jesus. You will already encounter Jesus every day in your spouse and parents, your children and neighbors, and especially this morning in the Eucharist. But you will also encounter Jesus in your prayer if you pray every day. Allow that encounter to change your life radically. Turn away from sin. Allowing your encounter with Jesus to change your life will lead to other great New Year's resolutions, like treating your body better with clean foods and more exercise, treating others better by stop gossiping and looking at pornography, and even to deepen your relationship with God by attending Mass more than once a week. Friends, once we start praying every day, we will encounter Jesus every day. And our lives will change radically. And then we only will be left with sharing the joy, love, and the peace we feel with everyone. And better yet for introverts out there, we won't even have to say anything because people will see it on our faces how happy and joyful and peaceful we are. People will ask you, what is it that makes you so happy? And we can honestly respond with Jesus. On this first day of 2017, let's resolve together as a community of faith to pray every day. Allow our encounter with Jesus to change our lives and to share the joy and love we feel with everyone. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas.